bastard. They got me on the wrist. Well, here we are up at the bees. I'm excited to see that all the hives are still standing. There's hardly any branches blown down. And in fact, the walk across the field to get here, the field was in, in fact quite dry, despite all the heavy rain we've had. Uh, there's a tiny little bit of activity, which I'll see if I can show you. No doubt once I get the, the lid off the hive, we will, uh, they'll soon come out because it's, it's quite warm really, about seven or eight degrees, due to rise to about uh, 10 later on today. So that's plenty comfortable enough for the bees to move around in the hive freely and uh, come out. I don't know whether you can see there, but there's a, you can clearly see the track in the winter where the badgers are going backwards and forwards uh, foraging for food. I'll show you that. And the badger set is about a hundred yards in the woods that way by some old ponds buried deep in the thicket. Let's see if we can find a, a bee for you before I get stuck into the, the work that I've got to do today which is to remove all the lids on the hives and treat them for varroa mite which is a small beetle that lives on them and and uh, so you treat them twice a year for that. I've also come to make sure that they've got enough feed because it's been over two and a half months since I came up here last. So I've bought a uh, kilo packs of sugar paste uh, that if I feel a hive needs some extra resources, although they did have quite a lot of honey of their own, I shall place the, uh, a pack of sugar paste just under the lid so they can access that. There's been no uh, interest from woodpeckers on the hives. Right, let's get my gloves on, get ready to do battle, I think. I'm sure that once I take the lid off the hive, they're going to go berserk. Ah, this lid is, uh, they've sealed this one on well. Ah, that's it, we've cracked that one. I've put the treatment on this hive and I'm quite happy with it. It's absolutely chock-a-block. This uh, top box is absolutely chock-a-block with stores still and the bees are lovely and lively and uh, look pretty healthy and very active. So that's it. I've, I've, I've run a seam of treatment, uh, five mil of treatment down each seam and uh, now I shall put the lid back on and I won't bother putting any uh, sugar paste on top of this one because these large frames are, are full of honey so that's good. I cleaned uh, all my equipment in the shed uh, a couple of weeks ago so everything's working nicely. These, these were annoying me last year, they weren't quite working properly. But... It's surprising how many uh, other creatures live in and around uh, a beehive. Lots of different types of spiders and uh, little flies and all sorts of things. Wood lice and 
that lid's not too tight, but the one on the other hive I've just done was difficult to open. They'd really sealed it well. And these, I don't know if you can see that, but all the wood lice living in there, and these big house spiders, uh, they love it in the warm. And uh, there's a, a queen wasp, I'm afraid I'm going to squash that. because they go off and start a colony close to the hive in the in the there's another one in the spring and uh, then they attack the hive and try to rob it out in the autumn there's a nice shield beetle overwintering i don't want to disturb that bastard they got me on the wrist because my jumper and coat underneath my glove has risen up and there's only this thick canvas between my there was only this thick canvas between my skin and the bee and they can sting through thick leather gloves and thick canvas they can even sting sting through thick rubber so this hive must have been a bit short on food because I put some food on it at the end of last year as we can see here which they're not showing much interest in. It looks like a bag of food here that they've not really been able to access very well. A little bit left in there. So I'll take these two empty bags off. All right, we'll crack this lid. And I can see these bees are, again, quite lively. I'll give them a little puff of smoke just to take their mind off what I'm doing. And... Uh, they think there may be a fire, so they, they concentrate on eating a bit of honey. Right, this is a, a much smaller colony, so each seam where the bees are, I trickle a uh, five mil of uh, treatment down each one. And you squeeze this little pot and it moves five mil up into a compartment which you empty into each seam and I think that's about it there's not uh, and the, the treatment is made up with sugar syrup I made that up this morning melted some sugar in some water uh, the, these don't have an awful lot of food I don't want to go into it too much They've still got a little bit of uh, stores there, but I shall definitely be putting some more sugar paste on this colony. So let's pop the lid back on. Let's pop that lid back on, but that is a small colony. Um, it'll probably survive. They'll enjoy some... Uh, access to this sugar paste that I'm putting on. Let's put plenty of that on. I bought it in a 12 and a half kilo block and then and then cut it up and just put it into these bags. So I think that'll do. If the lid won't fit back on there, what I'll do is get a, called an EK, EKE. It just raises the roof up a little bit, allows you to put stuff underneath the roof. But, uh, we'll see. Right, come on, off you go, off you go. I think that will be all right when I've uh, strapped it back down, so... God, the smell coming from this hive is absolutely gorgeous. Now, I'm not sure what creates the smell, really. Possibly the, the pollen that they gathered. There's quite a lot of bees in this hive. Anyway, let's get the treatment on those. And... Uh, 
get the lid on. Let's see what's in this one. Easy to crack open. Lift the lid. The lids feel heavy because they're damp. No hibernating wasps, plenty of other insects. I'd already put a bit of uh, food on this hive by the looks of it. Uh, I'll give these, a, these seem quite active there in the top. I'll give them a little bit of smoke and uh, get my treatment bottle ready with the five mil in, if there's enough. Crack the lid. Not a huge uh, colony. And uh, they've come up to the top. It looks like they've got some stores. But uh, we'll, we'll give these some treatment. That's it. Not many scenes of bees. We'll get the lid back on and I'll give them a, another pack of food. What I've been doing is I've been uh, lopping all the growth that comes from the roots of these trees and if you don't cut it back every couple of years it just takes over blocks out the light for the bees blocks out the sunshine and uh, so i've probably spent about an hour doing that and i'm absolutely sweltering sweat's running off me but i've got a couple of branches there i want to saw down i think that'll do for today These bees in that hive that the camera's on are going bloody berserk. I've not got my proper gloves on. Lucky I'm not getting stung. Whew. Your barnacle, that'll do. That's it, thanks for watching. Home for a bath, cheers. Oh yeah, if you'd like to buy some honey, I've got plenty of honey this from last year. Uh, I can send it out by post. Two pots, one pound pots in a box. I think with the postage it's about £18.50 something. It's on my website daveslettershirehoney.org